session, we're going to be working our core and our lower back. It's day six of Ignite. We don't need any equipment whatsoever today. We're going to work for 45 seconds, have a 15 second break on eight brand new exercises and complete four rounds. So when you're ready, let's go and warm up. Okay, let's start by taking the arms up and back, open up the chest and then touch your toes. Do this eight times. Over in the chest, touch your toes. We're just stretching out the core here and also then easing off the lower back. Breathe in and out. And then one more time. And then back to center. Let's move the arms, just let them free flow side to side. Twist at the waist so you can warm up your core as today is a core and lower back focus session. Good job. Okay, bring the arms up. Slight back bend here. Breathe in and then back to center. Slight back bend. Back to center. Do this six times. Stretching out the core and our lower back. Last one. And then relax. Good. Roll the shoulders back and down so we don't have any tension in our shoulders or in our neck, in fact. We're going to do half neck circles just to finish off a short little warm up and then we're going to get straight into it. Well done, guys. Let's go. We're starting on the floor today. We've got our lower back exercise first. We're going to lay on the floor, flat facing on the floor, all the way down here. We're going to do front angels, so you're going to bring your arms forward and then all the way back, squeezing into the lower back and into the shoulder blades. Okay, when you're ready, let's do this guys. Reach back and then forward, nice and long. Squeeze into the upper and the lower back as well. Great work. Underrated move, really. It's quite challenging to lift off the ground, but just come up as best you can. You've got four chances to do this exercise today. So on each round, you can improve your range of motion, your technique. Last few reps. One more. Well done. <laughs> Relax, good, okay. Moving on to the core, we're going to sit up and we're going to open up the chest. So even though we're focusing on our core, we're going to sit up and then open up here. Squeeze into the back. Come with me. Up and open. Squeezing into the back as well as working our core. Why not? Good work, we're halfway. Coming up next, guys, is a plank to cobra position. So I'm gonna flip back over. Last one here though. And relax, nice. Okay, so we're gonna flip back over. We're going to go in a high plank position. Make sure your uh, shoulder is in line with your wrist. Come up on your toes. Stay here in the plank position. Then go into a cobra position. Bend that spine, lower back, back into the cobra. Squeeze your core in tight and then breathe out. In. Good work. Try to push those hips down towards the ground and reach up. Look up at the same time. You get an extended range of motion right here. And then back into that plank. Feel those core muscles squeezing nice and tight as well. Good work. Last one. Well 
Well done, that was nice. Good. Okay, next up we've got a reverse plank. So you're gonna go back on your back. You're gonna hold your hands right like here like this. Come up into a bridge position and then just march right and left. Squeeze your core in tight. Reverse plank position. You can have the option to put your hands the other way as well. I'll show you in the next round. I prefer to get my hands outwards though. 15 seconds to go now. Good job. Two, one, and relax. Brilliant work. Okay, flipping back over again into a superman or a superwoman position. So we have our arms out straight. We're gonna lift up one at a time and be superman or superwoman. Up. Squeeze into the back and into the glutes as well. Just like the superheroes, we are heroes as well. Doing this session today. Lift up. Great work. Eight seconds to go. Lift up to your best range. Last one. Superhero. Done. <laughs> okay, next up. We're staying on this side. We're gonna go into a plank position. And we're gonna walk our hands out in front of us. So extended plank position. One, two, three, four. Come back. Two, three, four. You can change positions if you want. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Forward, three, four, back, two, three, four, forward. Good work, hold the core in tight. Squeeze it in, nice and tight. Keep the hips still if you can. It's quite a challenge, isn't it? Well done. Last few. Oh, <laughs> good work. Sometimes these body weight ones are just as hard as the weighted exercises, aren't they? That's for sure. Okay, on your back. I'm gonna go into wipers next for the lower back. Arms out. Let's go. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground, okay? So, switch from right to left, back to center, but with your shoulders remaining on the ground. Don't lift them up. If you can't go down to the ground, that's okay. Just go and stop at the range you can get to. And then feel the lower back stretch. <sighs> really, really nice stretch actually. For the lower back. Ooh, a couple of clicks in there too. <laughs> Nice. Okay, next up for our core, our last exercise for round one. And then we're gonna repeat this three times more. You're gonna come up and you're gonna clap underneath your legs. Okay, so sit up and clap under. Let's go, guys. Clap under. Clap under. Great work. Nearly at the end of round one. <sighs> Try to engage your mind connection into that core. So that you really pull up with your core muscles. Oh, I can feel it. And breathe. <sighs> Good work. Last one. And 
great job. So now you know what's in store for rounds two, three, and four. Have a little break, grab a quick drink. In 20 seconds, we're gonna go back again into our reverse angels. So if you're ready, come back onto the floor. Front facing. Let's extend the arms out and get in position so we're ready to start on the beep. Okay, let's go. And forward. Squeeze back and forward. As you rise up, exhale. And then inhale, exhale. Good work. Let's get a couple more in there. Lift up even higher. Nice work, relax. Oh, that felt good. Did you feel it in your lower back? I hope you did, because I certainly did, for sure. All right, lay back down. We're gonna sit up and we're gonna open up, yeah? Squeeze into the back. Let's go. Up. Oh, hands position and open up in a prayer style position. Be nice and controlled down. Up, open, control. This is the key thing about exercises, the range of motion and control that you have with every single rep, you know? It's nice to be in control, isn't it? We don't want to not be in control because then we can injure ourselves. We want to Teach ourselves to really go with that nice controlled movement. Also, then we engage the muscles even better too. So win-win. <laughs> Great job. Okay, next up is that plank to cobra. So remember we're in high plank position, let's flip back over. So we're working our core and our lower back in this one. Two in one. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. One. Oh no, sorry, it's not that exercise. <laughs> I got ahead of myself there. Plank to cobra. <laughs> See, we do make mistakes, it happens. <laughs> Human beings. Job. Still working our core and lower back. Very nice. One more time. Oh, and then relax. Ooh. <laughs> Great work. Okay, next up is the um, reverse plank, isn't it? Yes, reverse plank. <laughs> Don't get it wrong this time, Hannah. Okay, you can put your arms in or out. Lift up and then bring the knees in. Marching those legs. Keep the hips up nice and high. If you're really advanced on this one, you can extend the legs out even further here and then go like that. It's a little bit harder, obviously. But you can extend those legs out. Otherwise, keep the feet flat on the floor and keep marching. Low impact work, well done, last one. Good, okay, shake out those arms. They took a bit of a load as well, didn't they? Back on the front into Superman and then the extended plank walk that I was doing before my head of time. Okay, Superwoman, Superman, fly through the sky.
Well done. Keep reaching as far forward as you can. As you rise up, make sure you're going into that lower back, stretching, and then release. Last one. Oh, brilliant. Good job. Okay, so after Superman's is that extended plank position, as we call our hands forward, we call them back to the center again. So from here, one, two, three, four, and then back to the center. You can change hands if you want to, doesn't really matter. Just stay nice and tight and strong, suck up the core. And control. Good work, 10 more seconds to go. That one is definitely the harder, one of the harder ones in the session, would you agree? Tell me in the comments below which one you found the most challenging. Yeah? This is my favourite one, this one. The wipers! Here they are. Get your shoulders on the ground. For me, that plank walkout is definitely the most challenging, but you might have a different one. So, if you let me know, it'd be really useful. Easing off the lower back. Nice stretch as well. We're using our core as we go down, we're stretching out the lower back, and then as you bring the legs in, your core's under tension. So it might not feel massively under tension, but it's working. Last one. Relax. There is a different move to that as well, where you can actually extend the legs out. I'll show you in the next round though, okay? All right, so sit up and clap underneath your legs, alternate the legs, and get the end of round two. Let's go. Lap yourself to the end of the round. Breathe out. yourself up with your core and don't use momentum from anywhere else. Up. Then, oh, last two. One more. Ooh. Great job. We're halfway. We're only halfway. It's okay. We can do it. We've got two more rounds to go. Let's face it, it isn't that bad, is it? It's really, really great for your core and your lower back, so think of the gains. Get back into position or pause and have a drink. <laughs> right here, ready for our reverse angels, yeah? Reverse angels coming up. Round three, here we go. Up, back. Now really think about, have you worked? To your best of your ability so far. If not, talk to yourself and extend your ranges, extend your technique, make it better, fine tune it to finish off nice and strong and have a really great session. <sighs> Came here for a really good reason to work our bodies. So let's do it properly. I'm really scared. Okie dokie. Sitting up and then opening up. So, nice and tall. Prayer hands together. Let's go down, up and open. I'm gonna stay quiet for a little bit because we're focusing on the core. Oh. 
Well done. Oh, great work. 10 seconds to go. <laughs> and relax. Ooh, that was great. I was really focused in for a little bit just to engage my mind muscle connection. Try it out. You, you, you should love it, actually. It works really, really well. Okay, plank to cobra is next. Let's go. Up to plank. Now you know the drill. We go up and look up to the ceiling. And then back into the plank position. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Hold. Good. Stay nice and strong on those arms as well. Make sure you don't bend the elbows. Keep them strong. in tight, work out that lower back, and relax. Ooh, sit back on your heels if you want to. Well done. Okay, the reverse plank's coming up next. Either extend your legs out or put your feet flat on the floor. You decide what's best for you. You can do it this way. Or, with the legs out, drive it in. smile <laughs> you know because um, we're doing this for a very very good reason to get the gain so we need to give ourselves a little smile as well whilst we're doing it why not 10 seconds to go well done superman and superwoman's coming up next Ooh, relax now you've got to relax okay on the front, Superman, Superwoman. Okay, let's go for it. Rise up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift that high. As close as you can go. Extend that range now. We've got 15 seconds to go. Very nice, last two. And one. Oh. Great work, everyone. Okay, so the harder one, the hardest one in my opinion, the plank extended walkouts on your toes. Walking the hands out. Let's go. Probably can go even further than me, if you wish. But I'm just going out to the top of the mat. Don't forget your breathing. Hold everything in tight. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the time was never going to finish then. Good, okay, wipers and then clap unders. And then one more round. Oh, on your back. Oh, the wipers, by the way, I was talking about this earlier. So going with long legs down and then over to the other side. If you wish, give it a go if you wish, but keep your shoulder on the ground. I can't go the, all the way because of the wall, that side, but potentially this side. Slight bend in the knee. Yes. Great work. 10 
10 seconds left. Let's go nice and controlled and then back to center. Well done. The last one for round three is here. Clapping under, alternating the legs. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Clap and release. Mind connection is in our core. Yes, keep going guys. 10 more seconds. Nearly there, lift up with your core. And relax. Oh. Yes. Three rounds done. One more to go. Grab a little drink. Get ready to finish strong. Last round, everyone. Last round. So. Let's go on our front, into our last time angel position. And when you're ready, let's go. Really extend it up as high as you can now. Let's see how far we can go. Rise up. Even though this is a no equipment workout, Still getting sweaty over here. Just shows you how much it really, really does work. You do it properly and with the right exercises, of course. <sighs> Maybe you can even go back and touch your hands together. Who can do that? Let me know. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Seven seconds left. Oh, <laughs> I can't quite do it. Last one. Oh, I've seen people do it actually though. And I bet you there's someone doing this video right now that actually can do it. That'll be really pleased to know who you are. <laughs> Reveal yourselves to me in the comments, please. I'll give you a high five, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, am I talking too much? I think. It's time to go. <laughs> Open up that chest. Let's see. Well done. Planks of Cobra coming up next. Oh, good work. Relax. Sorry, I missed the beat there because I was waffling on a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna go back into that plank to cobra. <sighs> High plank position. Let's go. 45 seconds of work. We're just each exercise. We're gonna finish strong. Team Fit Fam. Yes. We're gonna rock it for that summer body, igniting every single muscle group in our body to be the best. Series ignite. Yeah, we fire up those muscles, you know. Get them firm and strong. Beautiful. Ten more seconds. Keep an eye on the timer now. Three, two, one. Oh, relax. Nice work. See, I'm dripping. Sweat's coming off me. Don't underestimate the no equipment workout. That's all I've got to say. All right, up and let's go reverse plank. March it in. I like this one. It's different, it's good. Next up is Superman, Superwoman. 
So get ready to lay back on your front. Let's extend it out and let's go a little bit harder for the last 20 seconds. As it's the last round, the last time we're gonna do it, why not? 10 seconds to go. And last one, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Back onto the front. Did I say Superman? Oh yeah, I did. Superman, Superwoman. Yes, of course, how can I forget? Let's go. <sighs> Lift it up nice and high. This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> and the storm being that plank walkout, in my opinion. <laughs> I think that's why I put it all in this order. It's carefully thought out, these sessions, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I spend hours behind the scenes writing programs, writing series, um, booking flights and booking accommodation and things like that so that we can go to nice locations and give you guys a really, really great session online. And relax. Yeah, I'm very thoughtful, me. I'm very thoughtful of my community. All right, so next up, the best exercise, plank walkouts, without a doubt. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try and keep the hips nice and still so we don't move around too much. So we suck up our core. Great job, 15 seconds left. Ooh. Oh, last one. <laughs> The timer is going to stop, isn't it? <sighs> That's when you go in that position, you feel the sweat just dripping. <sighs> As you're down in that position. Right, let's go back onto our wipers for the last time. An ultimate exercise, and we've got one more for the clap unders, and we're done. We're done for day, day six of Ignite. Lighting up the body, and I hope you've done all the others too. <laughs> I really do hope you've done all the others because you really would feel a huge result and benefit from doing them. So don't miss any single workout of mine. Right? <laughs> Ten seconds to go. We're doing it together as a nice community. We're in it to win it. Last one. Oh. Good. Last exercise, the clap unders, and then we'll do a short stretch. All right, let's do this. Strong abs. Go. Make sure that you do pull up with your abs and not your other parts of your body, like your neck, for example, because you'll feel it sore in a few days. Last five seconds. Oh, well done. Good work, people. Good work. Woo, we completed everything, didn't we? Yes, I didn't miss anything out. I had a feeling that I missed something out, but I don't think we did. I think we're all good. Well done. Big stretch, big stretch. Excellent. So just take a nice deep breath in. And then breathe out. Breathe in. And out, exhale. And then 
let the body just drop into the ground and everything relax into the ground. So all of your organs, all of your lower back, everything nice and heavy. And just take a moment to relax here. Fingertips to the toes, suck your core in tight. Bring the arms down, let's flip over. We're going to stretch our lower back and our core. Right here, come up either into a sphinx position or into that cobra position here. We're getting a lower back stretch and core stretch. Try to keep your hips on the ground if you can. And then the last one, we're just going to sit back on our heels, widen your legs a little bit, and then sit back. So see if you can get your bum to your heels. Bring the chest down towards the ground, right here. Stretch everything out. Feel the lower back stretch as well. Great work. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.